What if I told you that one of the most familiar objects in our asteroid belt, a dwarf planet we thought we knew, was hiding a secret of cosmic proportions? A secret that could totally rewrite our understanding of where life might just find a foothold in the cold, vast expanse of space. For years, tiny, dazzlingly bright spots on the dwarf planet series had scientists utterly mystified. They were so bright, they almost looked artificial, fueling all sorts of wild speculation, from alien cities to secret ice volcanoes. But the truth uncovered by NASA's amazing Dawn spacecraft is actually even more mind-blowing. Terrace. It's the largest object in the asteroid belt, hanging out between Mars and Jupiter, a relic from the very dawn of our solar system. For centuries, it was just a faint speck of light in our telescopes. But as our views got sharper, some really peculiar features started to emerge. Incredibly bright patches, just gleaming on its otherwise dark cratered surface. And these weren't just a little brighter, they were strikingly luminous, reflecting sunlight like mirrors. So what on Earth, or well, on Ceres, could possibly create something so out of place in the cold, dim conditions of the asteroid belt? The questions piled up, and honestly, the scientific community was pretty stumped. Early guesses ranged from exposed ice to some bizarre salt deposits, but no single explanation seemed to fit everything they were seeing. Then came NASA's Dawn spacecraft. Launched way back in 2007, its job was to visit the two biggest players in the asteroid belt, Vesta, and then our mysterious Ceres. When Dawn arrived at Ceres in 2015, it started sending back images that were, frankly, breathtaking. Those bright spots? Turns out there weren't just one or two. Dawn found over 130 of them, mostly tucked away inside impact craters. The most famous and brightest of these are in the 57-mile-wide Okator Crater, which is a relatively young feature on Ceres' surface. These deposits, named Cerealia Facula and Vinalia Faculi, shone with an almost otherworldly glow. At first, the close-up views just made the mystery even deeper, showing a complex dance of bright material and the crater floor. Speculation went into overdrive. Were these active ice volcanoes or something even stranger? As dawn kept doing its thing, sometimes dipping incredibly low, we're talking less than 22 miles above the surface, the pieces of the puzzle started to click into place. Scientists took a hard look at what these bright areas were made of. The verdict? They're mainly sodium carbonate, which is a type of salt. Now this isn't your average table salt. It's a compound of sodium, carbon, and oxygen, and it's super reflective. But where did all this salt actually come from? Well, the evidence pointed downwards, deep beneath Ceres's crust. The leading idea, now really well backed up by Dawn's data, is that this sodium carbonate is what got left behind when salty water, or brine, from a subsurface reservoir bubbled up through cracks in the crust. Once this brine hit the vacuum of space on Ceres's surface, the water just sublimated, meaning it turned straight into gas, leaving behind those brilliant salt deposits. The fact that these spots look pretty young suggests this was a fairly recent geological event, meaning Ceres was, and maybe still is, an active world. Discovering the salts was just the tip of the iceberg, or maybe, in this case, the salt flat. The real jaw-dropper was what was feeding these features on the surface. Data from Dawn, including super-detailed gravity measurements, started to paint a picture of something vast and hidden. A subsurface brine reservoir. And we're not talking about a small puddle here. Scientists figure this reservoir is about 25 miles or 40 kilometers deep and could stretch for hundreds of miles under the surface. This strongly suggests that Ceres once had, or maybe still has remnants of, a global subsurface ocean. A lot of this ancient ocean probably froze over time, but it's likely that significant pockets of this salty water could still be hanging around. The impacts that carved out craters like Akator probably fractured the crust, creating pathways for this brine to reach the surface a process that might have been chugging along for millions of years. In fact, recent studies in late 2024 really bolster this idea, suggesting Ceres' crust is about 90% ice and that it was once a muddy ocean world. This dirty or muddy ocean as it froze would have concentrated these salts, leading to the sparkling deposits we see today. So Ceres isn't just some big asteroid, it's an ocean world. That puts it in some pretty cool company.
alongside moons like Jupiter's Europa and Saturn's Enceladus, places we think have liquid water under icy shells. The implications here are huge. Water, as we all know, is a key ingredient for life as we know it. And Ceres doesn't just have water, it has salts and, get this, organic molecules. Now, some recent research from early 2025 suggests that many of these complex organic molecules might have been delivered by impacting asteroids rather than forming on Ceres itself. But their presence, combined with water and potential energy sources from geological activity, still makes Ceres a super interesting place to look for habitable environments beyond Earth. It's possible that the decay of radioactive elements inside Ceres could be providing the heat needed to keep it geologically active and maintain these hidden brines. What do you think this discovery means for the hunt for extraterrestrial life? Could a dwarf planet right here in our own asteroid belt actually be a cradle for simple organisms? Of course, when you have something as mysterious and eye-catching as Ceres' bright spots, you're going to get some wild theories. They sparked a whole flurry of them, everything from alien landing pads to NASA cover-ups. But the super careful scientific work by the Dawn mission team has given us clear, evidence-based answers. NASA has openly shared all its data and peer-reviewed research. It all shows that these shining enigmas are natural geological features, proof of a dynamic and water-rich past, and maybe even a water-rich present. So NASA's biggest secret on Ceres isn't some grand conspiracy. It's the amazing scientific truth that this small world is way more complex and active than we ever guessed. Those bright spots aren't alien beacons, but dazzling salt deposits, shining signposts to a hidden, salty ocean. The Dawn mission, which wrapped up in 2018 when it ran out of fuel, totally changed our view of Ceres. It transformed it from just a big rock into a geologically active, water-rich dwarf planet. A true ocean world, surprisingly close to home. It really shows you the kind of wonders that are out there when we dare to explore the unknown, reminding us that even in our own cosmic backyard, incredible secrets are still waiting to be found. And if you're as fascinated by the secrets our solar system holds as we are, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more journeys into the cosmos.